guys it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at the current conditions across the Atlantic Basin and today is the final day of the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. So we're going to be taking a look at what had happened this hurricane season. And so before I go into details. <music> All right, so let us start off with a satellite view of the basin. We're seeing here that we have a cold front that is in the Atlantic extended to portions of the Caribbean. That's where the tail end of it is. And we also have a little bit of convection in the vicinity of portions of South and Central America. But for the most part, there is nothing much going on out there in the tropics. And so let's take a look at current sea surface temperatures. And so we're seeing here that the Caribbean is, of course, warm. It's a little bit cooler, but it is still going to be warm and it's going to remain warm because, of course, that's the tropics that is warm all year round. But we see that the northern portion of the Gulf is definitely cooling down as we're going to be approaching winter in the next couple of months weeks and so something very important that has been keeping activity at bay this is the wind shear so looking at the wind shear map we're seeing here that we have mainly on fever shear extended across majority of the region so we have uh, the green that means favorable shear the yellow that means neutral and the red that means unfavorable and so we're seeing that it's mainly on fever shear that is just being dominant and this is how things have been since october and so that's why we haven't had much development afterwards and so so far this hurricane season we've had 21 named storms so the list was completely exhausted and uh, that made this hurricane season the third ever in history where we have all the names being used up on the normal list so the two other years were 2005 and last year which was 2020 and so out of those 21 named storm seven managed to become hurricanes and from that seven we had four major hurricanes and so the strongest storm of the season was sam which had maximum sustained winds of 155 miles per hour and a minimum pressure of 929 millibars so before sam the strongest was ida because remember ida made landfall along the gulf coast and wreaked havoc there and especially when the remnants made their way up to the northeast uh, there was so much flooding that occurred in that region and so Ida was a little bit weaker than Sam so Sam is currently the holder of the strongest storm of the season but Ida was more destructive and so now taking a look at our systems that have developed so we've had uh, Anna developing on the 22nd of May and so with the development of Anna that made this hurricane season the seventh consecutive where we have a system developing before the official start of the hurricane season and so the World Meteorological Organization was even considering moving the start date of the hurricane season from June 1st to May 15th but that did not happen for this year so we've had another preseason storm so maybe they will reconsider again but one thing for sure is that the National Hurricane Center is given outlooks beginning from the 15th of May and that began this year and it's all due to the fact that we have preseason development and we've had a lot of storms over the years developing in the month of May and so going on to June we've had three systems develop which were Bill, Claudette and Danny and then in July we've had only one system develop which was Elsa. So Elsa developed on the first of the month and it became a category one hurricane and it brought impacts to portions of the Caribbean as well as the United States, Canada and up in the north in Greenland and Iceland. Those areas were all impacted by Elsa. And so next we've had our other system which was Fred develop in the month of August near the middle part of the month. So Fred developed on the 11th of August and resulted in 1.3 billion dollars in damages and seven fatalities two of those indirect and then next we've had some really serious systems develop also in the month of august which were grace Henri, and ida and the most significant out of them was of course ida because ida became a category 4 hurricane almost a high-end category 4 with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour so the storm rapidly intensified in the gulf of mexico and it became a very 
monstrous cyclone there and as I said earlier we had the remnants of the cyclone that made their way up to the northeast and the system devastated some states with some very significant flooding and so in all Ida resulted in about over 60 billion dollars in damages and we've had over 100 deaths as a result of the cyclone. So after Ida we had the development of Kate and Julian on the same day uh, which was August 28th and both remained tropical storms and so afterwards we had Larry which was a major hurricane uh, actually the second to last of the season it was a category three and it had winds of 125 miles per hour just shy of being a category four hurricane at its peak and so now going on to the month of september so we've had quite a bit of systems about eight to develop in the month of september which were mindy nicholas adette peter rose sam Teresa, and victor and out of those systems sam was the strongest and it surpassed ida as the strongest storm of the season conditions were so conducive and it was really a good thing that the system stayed offshore at such intensity because if that made landfall somewhere it would have been absolutely devastating because of the extreme winds of the system and so later down we've had a very quiet october until Wanda developed on the last day of october and lasted until november 7th and so after Wanda dissipated we've not had the formation of any other tropical cyclone since so the end of the season has been pretty quiet and that is usually anticipated but compared to last year this season was definitely more quiet because in the months of October and November we've had a lot more systems that developed last year than this year so overall that was it for this hurricane season we've had as I said earlier, we've had all 21 names being used up, which makes the list exhausted. And so persons might be wondering what's going to be happening next year. Well, truth be told, it is too early to tell. But as we're going to be progressing into the new year, we're going to be hearing uh, different predictions from various sources, especially in the spring, especially around May right today, where no one's going to be giving their predictions as well. So by that time, we will see what's going to be anticipated. But one thing for sure is that we don't have any tropical cycle clones to worry about for the next coming weeks at least and so guys for this hurricane season it is likely that we will have one name and i would say ida is the only name that is going to be retired for this hurricane season but we'll know that i believe sometime in march but as of right now i believe that ida is the only name that is going to be retired because of the massive destruction and fatalities that the system resulted in and uh, you can share your thoughts with me in the comments which name do you think any other names will be retired for this hurricane season and so guys that is really it for this hurricane season review so that's what happened this hurricane season and of course i want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have been so supportive of me over time not just this hurricane season but ever since i began my youtube channel it really means a lot how you guys are so supportive of me and i really appreciate it and of course next year we're at it again with the daily updates but of course guys if there's anything that you need to be notified on or anything that's happening i will make videos and let you be aware of that and so guys thanks for watching this video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be with wise